हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम रंजीत ढूंढे वेलकम बैक टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द टॉपिक लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टूडे लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस टू इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म दैट इज लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव एंड लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द इंटरवल्स ऑफ अ फंक्शन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी हाउ लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म कन्वर्ट्स ऑपरेशन ऑफ कैलकुलस बाय ऑपरेशन ऑफ ऑलजेब्रा Now, property number four, Laplace transform of derivative states that if Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f bar s, then number one, Laplace transform of f dash of t is equal to s into f bar s minus f of zero. Here, this dash denotes the first derivative of f of t, and f of zero will be the value of f of t at t equal to zero. And number two, Laplace transform of y of double dash of t. That this double dash denotes the uh, second order derivative of y of t is equal to y square into y bar s minus y s into y of zero minus y dash of zero. That this y dash of zero is the value of derivative of y of t at t equal to zero. Now it's proved proof. So by using definition, by definition. Laplace transform of y of dash of t is equal to integration zero to infinity e to the power minus s t y of dash of t dt. Now we denote this is the first function and this is the second function. Now by using the integration by parts, so this first function as it is e to the power minus s t. Integration of second function the answer is y of t. And limits zero to infinity minus integration zero to infinity. Now derivative of this first function, the derivative of e to the power minus s t answer is e to the power minus s t times derivative of minus s t answer is minus y s. Now integration of this second function, the answer is y of t dt. Now if we put upper limit, we we'll get Zero minus lower limit e to the power zero one y of zero minus. Now this integration with respect to t, therefore this minus y s is constant with respect to t. The taking uh, this minus y s taking outside the integration, the minus minus plus y s integration zero to infinity e to the power minus y s t y of t dt. Now this integration be the defini uh, definition of Laplace transform. So its answer is minus y of zero plus y s. Now this is the Laplace transform of y of t and Laplace transform of y of t denoted by y bar y s. This is the y bar y s. Now therefore answer is y s into y bar y s minus y of zero. So therefore Laplace transform of y of dash of t. Is equal to s times y bar s minus y of zero. Now, a proof of the second part. So we know that Laplace transform of y dash of t is equal to s into y bar s. So this y bar s be the Laplace transform of y of t minus y of zero. Now replace. Y by Y dash. Then this becomes Laplace transform of Y double dash of t is equal to Y s. Laplace transform of this Y becomes Y dash now. Y dash of t minus Y dash of zero. Now Laplace transform of Y dash of t cancel each Y s into Y bar Y s. Minus y of zero minus y dash of zero. Now y s into y s answer is y square y bar y s y s into y of zero minus y dash of zero. So therefore, Laplace transform of y double dash of t is equal to y square into y bar y s minus y s into y of zero minus y dash of Zero. So this is the proof of the second part.
Now the property number 5, Laplace transform of the integral, it states that if Laplace transform of your property is equal to f by s, then Laplace transform of the integral 0 to t f of u du is equal to f by s upon s. Now it's proved. Now we denote this integral is equal to g of t, the g of t is equal to integral 0 to t f of u d u. Now differentiating this with respect to t, we get a derivative of g of t answer is g dash of t is equal to derivative of this integration answer is f of t and g of 0 is equal to 0. Now taking Laplace transform to both sides, therefore Laplace transform of g dash of t is equal to Laplace transform of f of t. Now Laplace transform of g dash of t is equal to s into g bar s minus g of 0 by using the Laplace transform of derivative and is equal to Laplace transform of f of t answer is f bar s. Now, s times g bar s, the g bar s be the Laplace transform of g of t and this g of 0 be the 0 is equal to f bar s. And therefore, Laplace transform of g of t is equal to this s, f bar s upon s. Now g of t be the integral 0 to t f of u du is equal to f bar s upon s. So therefore Laplace transform of the integral 0 to t f of u du is equal to f bar s upon s. So this is the proof of the Laplace transform of the integral. Now some problems based on the Laplace transform of the integral. Problem example 1. Find Laplace transform of integration 0 to t sin u du. Now we, we know that Laplace transform of integration 0 to t f of u du is equal to f bar s upon s. Now, uh, comparing this integration the here, let f of u is equal to sin u. Now, therefore, Laplace transform of f of u is equal to Laplace transform of sin u. The Laplace transform of f of u denoted by f bar s. And Laplace transform of sin u means Laplace transform of sin t. Answer is 1 upon s square plus 1. Now substituting this f bar s and f of u in this equation 1, so we get Laplace transform of integration 0 to t, this f of u be the sin u, du is equal to this f bar s be the 1 upon s square plus 1, so 1 upon s square plus 1 upon s. So this is equal to 1 upon s into s square plus 1. So this is the this 1 upon s times s square plus 1 be the Laplace transform of the integral 0 to t sin u du. Now second example find Laplace transform of integration 0 to t e to the power minus t cos t dt. Now we know that Laplace transform of this integral is equal to f bar s upon s. No integration is independent on the variable. We replace this f of u du by f of t dt. Now comparing these two integration, let this f of t is equal to e to the power minus t cos t. Now Laplace transform of cos t is equal to s upon s square plus 1. And therefore, Laplace transform of e to the power minus t cos t 
is equal to by using the shifting property. So replace here yes by yes plus one. The answer is yes plus one upon yes plus one whole square plus one. So therefore Laplace transform of f of t is equal to Laplace transform of e to the power minus t cos t. Laplace transform of f of t denoted by f bar s is equal to Laplace transform of this e to the power minus t cos t answer is s plus 1 upon s plus 1 whole square plus 1. So this is the Laplace transform of e to the power minus t cos t. Now by using this equation 1, Laplace transform of e to the power minus t cos t dt means f of t d the e to the power minus t cos t. So by substituting f of t is equal to e to the power minus t cos t and f bar s is equal to s plus 1 upon s plus 1 whole square plus 1 in equation 1. So then this equation 1 becomes Laplace transform of this integration is equal to s plus 1 upon s plus 1 whole square plus 1 this is the upper s and divided by s therefore answer is s plus 1 upon s into this s plus 1 whole square s square plus 2 s plus 2 uh, this s square plus 2 s plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and set is 2 so this is the Laplace transform of the given integral Hope all of you have understood the topic. Please subscribe the channel and let me know your comment and feedback. Thank you. Have a nice day.